in football, people forget quite quickly, and it is good for him to remind them as what Eric Dyer has had to say about the recent revival of Deli Alley's form on and off the football pitch. Before we get into Eric Dyer sticking up for Deli Alley, courtesy of quotes from football.london, uh, if you are new to the channel and you want the more from this channel, including the Tottenham Fan Voice podcast, live watch alongs, previews, reviews, and any content you could want from a Spurs channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the like button if you are happy to see the rekindling of the Eric Dyer and Deli Alley bromance. But let's dive straight into things. Eric Dyer and Deli Ali have had a fantastic bromance throughout their time at Spurs, but it's one that has faded in the eye of the, the public fan uh, in recent months, in, in recent years, to be honest, with the, the kind of downturn of Deli Ali's form, the, the divide that we have seen in the Spurs dressing room from the moment Pochettino was sacked up until where we are today, with perhaps a, a similar divide in there among the, the players with the future of Jose Mourinho at the moment hanging in the balance. But Eric Dyer has spoken out now in support of Deli Ali as he looks to turn uh, his career back around and perhaps get back into that first team for Spurs. I will leave the article linked down in the in the description below, but let's take a, a quick look at these quotes. Um, Alistair Gold says, Dyer, who has been close friends with Ali since he joined Tottenham, was quick to point out the qualities of his teammates. So this is what Eric Dyer's had to say. Delhi put in a fantastic performance. I thought he was really good in the first leg as well. This time he got the goal and the two assists, which is great for him and a reminder to everyone of his quality. Because in football, people have very short memories and they can forget quite quickly. So it is good for him to remind them and hopefully he can push on. It's great to hear the, the players talking out in support of Delhi Ali because kind of a point that I've made quite uh, kind of the whole way through all of this is that Delhi needs a kind of father figure in, the, in that managerial role. You had MK Dons, he had Carl Robinson at the beginning of his Spurs career. He had Mauricio Pochettino and, and Jose isn't that manager. He's not that man. He will he will call you out publicly and he will drive you to he will almost drive you to motivate yourself if anything. He won't be that one to pick you up uh, when, when your form isn't there. And it's worked with Ndombele, uh, maybe another few players it may potentially work with. But Deli Ali has seemed to be uh, a very different case. But hopefully now with this kind of turnaround in form and now his his teammates speaking out in, in, in support of him, perhaps he could see Deli Ali turning that form around as well. Uh, Gold said Tottenham have missed Ali's ability to arrive late in the box this season. And he showed that again on Wednesday night with no with numerous dangerous runs. Eric Dyer said, I have always said that he that is one of his greatest qualities, that he can pop up when you least expect it. He arrives in the right situations, arriving in the box, his timing with his defensive duties and pressing second balls. He has great football intelligence and maturity. And I always thought that was one of his greatest qualities. And I think we as fans uh fully echo the sentiments of Eric Dyer there that Delhi in that false nine slash number 10 role, making those late runs into the box, kind of feeding off the space left by his, his number nine, which for the for the most part has been Harry Kane, has been what has made him the most dangerous at Spurs. He has always thrived from that. We look at that victory against Chelsea at White Hart Lane the last year we played them there, ending their run, uh, their Premier League record run of consecutive victories with that 2-0 win, both crosses by Ericsson, finding late runs by Deli Alli to head past Thibaut Courtois. And that has been where Deli Alli has been at his best. And in the early days of Jose Mourinho, that, that position wasn't really in our team. But now as we look to be switching back to that 4-2-3-1 and maybe implementing a more attacking style of play, perhaps Deli Alli could uh, find his way back into that team and find his way back into that role where he could potentially be influential for Spurs uh, in the season ahead. Uh, just quickly, I do want to mention as well, Eric Dyer spoke about the, the kind of team in general. He said, it is difficult to talk about individuals as a team. We need to do better. Within that, individuals will step up and do great things in moments. And Gareth and Delhi have done that in the past. They have that quality to do that, but it is not up to them to change our season. It is up to us as a collective. So Dyer definitely not shying away from the fact that there are problems with this team. And he, he hopes it, it can be turned around in in the coming weeks, in the coming months, and maybe Spurs could uh, have a fight for European football on their hands and maybe a trophy come the end of the season. But a lot of work will have to be done before that can become in any way possible. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Dyer's comments on Deli Alley, Dyer's comments on the team as a whole, and also the future of Deli Alley. We will be live at six o'clock later with the Irish Hotspur and singer and actor Anthony Costa to speak about the uh, revival of Deli Alley and Gareth Bale and a whole lot more, including our Europa League draw. So please do smash that subscribe button if you don't want to miss that, and hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video. And as always, Thanks for watching.